Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we have a service call for a Monotowoc ice machine and the complaint is that we have a blank LCD screen. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Here's the ice machine and the complaint is that we have a blank LCD screen. First things first, I can see something wet is here and it's sticky. This is a bar. So my first guess right now is that we have water damage. I actually changed this board about six months ago. The unit worked, but the wash function did not. So you couldn't internally do your washing process. So only got six months it's kind of hard to believe but i see sticky stuff here probably got some beer on here and that's it <laughs> control got drunk so we have a wire here and if we follow it up this is the same plug it says lcd on the board so this is it right here let's make sure that's tight the connection is good let's start with a reset Let's turn off the breaker and turn it back on. I right, just turned off the power. I'm gonna let it rest for a couple minutes and then turn it back on. All right, let's go ahead and let's see what happened here. See if we have the same issue. All right. All right, we still have a blank screen. So I turn off the power again. What I want to do is make sure that we have a good connection. Look at that, it's like rusty here. It doesn't look good. All right, so let's put that back in. Make sure we have a good solid connection. Same thing with this. looks like some water could have got in here yeah, so that's that I'm gonna restart the power we got a good connection and let's see what happens all right we got the same issue I'm really thinking it's water damage you know when I replaced this board I actually never got rid of it because I love to make YouTube videos and I figured might make a video on that one day and you know what i think i got it in my truck though it did work on ice mode the only thing is you couldn't wash with it so if i have that i'm gonna see if i can plug that in and see if that does something because i really think that this is bad look at that look at that all right blank screen all right gonna unplug this the power is on don't advise people working with power on but this is like low voltage so I'm just gonna plug that in oh see that turn the power on it says making ice ice mode on oh wow all right Got a bad board here. You know, it's gotta be that beer that's spilled on here. I, I see the water damage. That's that's not something warranty is gonna cover. Typically you get like a year warranty on kind of anything you buy. But seeing that, you know, they're gonna open this thing up, they're gonna see some kind of water damage, and they're not gonna be happy with that. So it's a shame. You know, right now, let me actually turn this off. Actually, I mean, it's already plugged in and wired. It's only uh, four screws to take this off. So I'm actually just gonna let it be. I don't wanna just, you know, turn it off. So let's go ahead and take this one out and put the new one in. Well, actually put the old one in. This is the old board. 
but at least this is gonna give them ice for the time being. Gotta love that Vito Pro Pack. I did make a video on the ultimate HVAC tool bag, and this is it. This is a double-sided bag. So pretty much all we need here is a Phillips screwdriver. I put the old one in the back there, and we're just gonna take off these four screws, and this comes right off. So I'm gonna let the system run, and I wanna see the machine drop ice one time. And that's pretty much gonna be my service call. So, it is what it is. Let's call my four screws. And that's it. Let's take this one. Put it here. And just put my four screws back. And that's pretty much it. But when you do buy this, they sell the enclosure and the LCD display inside separately, so you need to pull this out, take off these screws, change the internals, and then put everything back together. So I'm going to tighten down these screws, let this be, let's watch this drop ice, and I'm going to open this up to see if there's any issues. I mean, there seems to be a gasket in here to protect you, but something got busted up in here i mean if things are getting wet can't really expect everything to be bulletproof so let's put these screws in and see what's going on in here all right that looks good to me so let's open this up and see if there's anything noticeable but it's got to be water i mean six months of operation nope doesn't sound right to me We have two screws holding this together and this connector you know I'm just a curious person and if you want to be a good technician it's not just finding the problem but finding the answer as to why this happened yeah hundred percent it was obviously this board but why did that happen I mean, we even still have the plastic on this thing. I mean, this thing is new. So, on this side, I don't see anything, but... I see a little bit of staining right here. I really do believe it's this right here. That seems to be like a water damage. What is that? That's no good, I'll tell you that. So, we got the system running all right now, and this is honestly my suspicion right here. This seems to be like a bit of water damage. We're not gonna get a warranty for this. Fortunately for the customer. So, kinda is what it is. You can hear the compressor running, it says it's making ice. So, I just want to see this thing drop ice, and we're going to call it a day from here, and the idea would be to get a new board. Oh! Alright! Just drop some ice. Alright, so we definitely got ice in here. Alright, so the good thing is, is that we kept the old part and we could actually have the system operate right now. Problem is that we can't wash this machine, but it's really good because they're having a party tonight. And this is the last day of 2021. So it's a New Year's party and, you know, we need some ice to go with those drinks, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's pretty much it. We're going to order a new board here and have a word with the engineer. And that's it. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.